Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Silkworm on the ZX Spectrum. I'm playing this on my uh, Plus 2A. Um, I'm going to be choose to be the helicopter, I think, because I like the Jeep, but it's not uh, not my favourite. Anyway, you got a choice, basically, though. You'd have to fight with your friends whether or not you were the helicopter or whether you were the Jeep. Um, um, but I'm going to be the helicopter because I'm the only one playing, so... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so, Silkworm, um, based on an arcade game of the same name. Um, quite often say that, actually. Um, oh, look at shooting away at the bottom there, the Jeep. Because I've got the joystick on there. So, um, yeah, so to shoot them up. Actually, it's not a bad shoot them up either, especially if you get a few, fr you know, you get your friend in, and he's he's the he's the little car at the bottom, which you could jump in the air. That's what it's what sort of special was for jumping. Um, and then, of course, you've got yourself in the helicopter. And it's quite a busy little game, actually. There's quite a lot goes on, a lot in the background. However, it does, it does go to that old um, sort of adage of being um, sort of a, um, I don't know, What's the way of describing it? It becomes sort of it becomes sort of monochrome. That's what it is. We've got a little bit of parallax scrolling going on as we go along, but uh, nothing very exciting. Here comes the first boss. He's building himself slowly. Look, out of bits of plane. See the thing on the floor here? These mine things. When you shoot them, there's a thing that comes out of them that kind of nukes the screen. So here we go. Come on then. Let's see if we can get him. Oh god! At least he's not running right into us. Can I just loiter around? Actually, he's not really. I don't. He hasn't shot anything at us so far. That's that's kind of handy. That he hasn't done that. Come on then, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. No, it's not going. Come on, he's going to. Oh, I can keep it tap. Tapping fire works better though than holding the fire button down. I was I was trying to tap it there and do things, but it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not the. It's not the way. Oh. Yes. Now he would normally he would jump up and pick that up, but I've got it. Oh no no, he wasn't the boss. He was just a, an in between boss. This is the boss. You can tell he's the boss because he's firing everything at me. Yeah. Come on, take some of that. Uh, Silkworm was one of my pickups recently as well, actually. So, so uh, um, you've, you'll, hopefully you'll see the video for that. But uh, if you haven't, um, I'm sure I can put a link in the description below. Um, oh, different ground. I'm glad I accidentally put it onto Kempston at the bottom, and it's now firing randomly by itself. It's quite handy. The little jeep itself hasn't blown up yet. Oh, here we go. Pretty good actually. It's not a bad shoot 'em up actually, uh, as as they go. I like a good shoot 'em up, but this is one. This is one. This is a really quite a good one, especially as I say, it's, it's a two player, and your mate can be either the, either the you can either be the helicopter or he can be the uh, or he can be the uh, the jeep, and and that's the, the best thing about it. You have to fight over it though, because it's like one has the joystick, and one has the keyboard. Or I think you can both have keyboards, but I don't know what the layout for that is. Well, actually, this is Q A O P and space is the fire. Oh. I don't remember how far I got, and I don't know how many levels I got, but we're certainly we're on the second wave now. Um, we're protecting the world against nu nuclear disarmament. Well, actually, it's been already disarmed. The world has, and that we're, this is the the the. Oh God! Yes, made it. Uh oh! Oh, another boss. Looks just like the first boss. I'll give him some super fire here. Let's see if we can get him this time round. First time round. Yes. Oh God, that was too easy. We didn't even get the twin fire offered to us that time round. Next level. I think with the computer, with the, with with wait, the Kempston joystick firing on the bottom randomly, it's really quite funny. Boom! Uh oh, one of these sort of um, ones that don't shoot but but come in and just sit there for ages. Here he comes. We're waiting for you. I'll clear the screen of all the other things. Actually, I tell you what, I have noticed. I've noticed the slowdown isn't that awful, even with lots of stuff going on the screen. It doesn't, it doesn't. It does a bit, but it doesn't. It's not awful, awful. I've seen worse. Hey, you got him already. Extra points for me. Can't get the twin though, because he's already got. He's got that. So that's how you get your upgrades, anyway. I wonder what we got at the end of this level. I wonder if there's another big helicopter. Okay. 
I do like the sprites. I think they're really nice. The Jeep has a sort of... I think it has a rotating gun that, does, that moves up and down, so you can kind of rotate it up and down, point in directions, which is quite cool. So there must be... There are advantages to being that. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can kill this thing really early on. See how quickly we can get it. We're, we're giving it everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another level finished. We're flying through these waves. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like the fact that it's also changing the ground on the bottom there. We're travelling along different surfaces. Boom. I'm just concentrating now. Wave 4, we're just absolutely smashing it. Oh, yeah. I was watching something recently, and they, they, there was a suggestion that the reason why um, Spectrum and other 8-bit games were so difficult, and I'm not entirely sure that this is, should be the case, but it possibly is, is that they were so difficult, or they made them particularly hard and very... Not necessarily um, the learning curve was tough, you know, I mean, you have to read your inlay for most games, um, but but the, the, the suggestion was that the, the, the reason why games or early games were quite tough is that if you made it too easy it was too fast to finish and because of the limited memory or the capacity of the machine that you actually were working with, making it harder meant that there was more play replayability in it than making it easier. Now that kind of stands a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, if you think about that for a second, we're you know we're we're in a situation where yeah, if you made it slightly hard, if you make it too easy and you whiz through it in 15 minutes, not much fun, is it? So so um, yeah, I can I can kind of understand that. Um, I only say that because I've never I've never done so well in Silkworm in my life. I can't remember doing ever doing so well in Silkworm in my entire life. Um, and we've done it again. That's another wave gone. Seven minutes of play and we're still at it. Haven't even lost a life yet. Is it possible that we can finish it? I don't know how many waves there are. Oh, this could be a very long video. <laughs> It'd be a very long video indeed. Definitely the learning curve on this one is an awful lot easier than some of the ones I've seen in the past. Um... But to be fair, it's just... Ah! It's bound to happen. Bound to happen sooner or later. Okay, here we go. We're shooting these ones down. Oh, I'm down to single fire now as well. What a shame. The twin fire was really good. It's helpful for killing stuff really quite quickly. So, here we go. Keep going. We're going to keep shooting things. That, 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 that. Oh, got us both there. Well, both of us got zapped with it by the planes. The planes are pretty quick. I've, I've, that, oh, unbelievable! Shooting through. So now, we, now we've actually got a challenge coming on. This is the this is the challenge that those planes with those super speed thing there. If the fire isn't concentrated enough, you can't really do anything about it. You're in trouble. Here we go. There we are. Right, come on. Let's see if we can manage to do this. I don't know, we're working on it. Uh, do you know something? The, the thing about these, they kind of remind me of a chicken. Because they've got like a little chicken leg and a little chicken head. And the way the heads go up and down, that's what it reminds me of. Thing is, they don't actually come right over to you. Look, he's not going to come over. He's going to come over, but then he's going to go back again. So you kind of... It's kind of not that difficult to, to do him some serious damage. As long as you don't fly into him, which I am notorious for doing that kind of stuff. Hey, boss! We're on a boss level for level 5! Get that twin fire in there. Missile, missile incoming! Incoming! Boss! Boss, 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 boss! Kill him, kill him! Yes! Another wave done! Can you believe it? There's one jeep left and no helicopters. And you see a rank at the top as well under the heli. It says, uh, my that's my current rank. As a soldier. So there's kind of ranks and the scores as well. It's kind of awesome. Right. Oh! Jets coming incoming! Let's keep it keep the position here. Ah she held us off there. Let's do that one. Let's go with that. Oh wow. It's a cracking game this. It's a really good one. Oh 
on, Jet! Jet's killed the, the, the Jeep! Jet killed the Jeep! Jet! Oh! They're coming at us bad style. Yes. We're going to get them, though. We're okay. We're okay. Jet! Oh, I'm covering the Jeep here with the, with the, with the firepower. The extra firepower I've got. I've got the twin fire still, because I've got that earlier on. Oh. Oh. Right, come in for it. Powering through. Let's get get in here. Oh. God. And there's the boss again. On wave six. They're pretty easy to beat, actually. Oh, apart from that big missile. They, they, they don't really do you an awful lot of damage. They don't, he hasn't even hit the thing on the bottom of the great screen there. Oh! He says that, and then he dies promptly. And I bet the game can't... I bet the can't, it can't kill the one on the floor, can he? No! There's a problem here. It's going to stick now. We're going to stick. It's going to be permanently stuck there, because the missile will never get past the firepower coming off the one on the bottom. Which is quite handy to know that it's a jeep. You're never actually going to get hit by this thing. Look at that! Never going to happen. Oh, well, we're going to leave it there. Because <laughs> cause that jeep's just going to continue forever. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.